Hey guys, Adam here Vaz Projects, and knowing full well I haven't released a video in months, um, I thought I would start off again really easy, quick small post bag and an overview of what I plan to be doing with the components and the next project. So um, I will admit in advance, these are already open. The reason being is I have re recorded this already several times. However, the last time um, autofocus was not uh, also was enabled on the camera so it was focusing on everything other than what I actually wanted it to focus on and the video was not salvageable in any way shape or form so third time's a charm so moving that out of the way and kicking off with this um, I have an ABS project enclosure now this is a 158mm wide by a 90mm in length and 60mm in height now the reason for this actually comes on to the project I want to make my own power bank basically to replace this one so this is my TZ QD186 that I have been using for um, months, potentially almost a year now. Um, but I have several of these, and keeping them all charged up and keeping track of what's what is proving to be a bit of a nightmare. So I thought, why not just make a large power bank I can carry around with me at all times. Um, so that's what this is intended for. Now, my main concern was keeping the physical length and width the same. Height's obviously going to be slightly bigger because I need to accommodate for a larger stack of 18650s. But... This is a good starting point. Future plans are to uh, 3D print something, um, but as I have no 3D printing experience, I thought I'd start with a project box, get the fundamentals right, and then transplant it into that at a later date. So, as you can imagine, there isn't anything fancy with this. It is literally just an ABS enclosure. Now, this is waterproof, so this is more intended for an outdoor um, connection box, but it will do fine for what I, I want going forward. So, moving that to one side, Goodies from eBay. Now, as I've already said, these are already open. And there are bits in here that I'm not going to use. Um, first component was a uh, free cell um, lithium battery uh, um, protection board. I'll get my words out in a minute. Now, originally I was going to build a stack of batteries and not go down the power bank route um this was what was going to obviously look after and maintain them now i'm not going down that road i'm not using that anymore um this did come from alice um there is a part number for anyone playing along i'm not even going to go into any detail on this because i'm not using it so that's going to go to one side um one thing i also bought in my haste from alice was a uh 18650 or, or, or lithium um charge indicator um this isn't particularly accurate. Um, I did power it up earlier and put it onto a cell, and a cell that was uh, I know was flat, uh, or flat as in 3.2 volts, and this was literally half, so I'm not quite sure how accurate it is. I'm gonna do another video on this at a later point, but uh, my initial plan for that was to put that somewhere on there, give me an idea of a charge indication, but this is on all the time, so it is going to slowly drain batteries. Um, I do have some switches coming, so I may still integrate it in as a one-off charge indicator but um, I've done away with all of this to keep it nice and simple although visually that's quite nice um, I've actually gone and picked up a it's probably about a 15 pound um, uh, 5 volt 2 amp um, 18650 uh, power bank module to go in this it's very similar to the one that actually will be on uh, the power bank however the LCD of the one I've got um, or getting has got gauges on it and a various other load of useful information. So I actually prefer that and keeping it simple. It's just going to be a load of batteries and a board. Um, I said I may integrate these later. Uh, quite a novel little feature just as a quick one-off to see what batteries are like. But we, we shall see. So moving all that to one side. Um, in here... Is my way of connecting all the 18650s so in my tray above me which i have pre-prepared this time i have tested a load of 18650s now these have all been recovered from hp um, uh, batteries for laptops all of these are really good most of them hold a 2300 milliamp charge and i've got six of them in here i've got another six up on the desk and then inside the power banks i've also got some really decent samsung um, uh, 1860s as well I don't have one handy but I do have one in a cheaper power bank uh, for those wanting to know the part number which is 
ICR18650-32A for alpha. I have several of these, um, and they're also going in as well. So I'm aiming for around about uh, 30,000 milliamp hours, all being well, maybe more. Uh, well, it probably will be more, actually. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 10. Uh, yeah, it'll probably be around about 30,000 to 35,000. Um, but my previous way of obviously connecting all these in the past, and, and most people do, is literally just solar wires on daily channel. I wanted to go slightly different. I wanted this to look half decent to a degree, as best as I can. So I actually went on eBay and picked up a one meter, eight mil wide and 0.15 mil nickel plate um, welding strap. Um, this is actually what I used to, or in some cases, to, to spot weld all the batteries together. Um, now I don't have a spot welder, so my plan is to measure this out, drill holes or punch holes through this, uh, rough up these and try and um, solder all these together in a row. I have no idea how it's going to work out, so I shall do a video on that as well. But that is the plan for that, to at least to keep them all neat and all together. Um, um, yeah, so that's that. Um, and lastly, something nice and cheap. Um, I don't have any cheap snips, but I do now. So purely for the purpose of cutting everything up to go in here, just so I don't destroy my nice um, snips that I've got, cheap pair of eBay snips. So that is it. Um, plan, everything's going in here. I'm still waiting on various bits to come in from eBay. Um, I do have a number of the um, uh, battery spacers um, to go in this to, to pack out all the batteries, but I'm still waiting them for eBay. A few moments later. I am back, apologies for that. I heard someone knock at the door and asking for completely the wrong address. Not to mention that the, the, the postcode doesn't match and the road doesn't match, even the number of the house doesn't match, but still they insisted that we were that particular person. So yeah, um, going back, plan is for obviously everything to go in here. It will hopefully be nicely done. I'm still waiting on bits to turn up. I do have the battery spacers um, waiting to turn up, so I am going to pack these into a, a pack and put them in here and then try and secure it so I don't come flying around when I inevitably drop this on the floor and destroy it. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to it. So, I shall do little videos as and when I do little bits with all of this and test the little things and quite a few things and get new bits in but um yeah looking forward to it so hope you've enjoyed this um stick along um subscribe if you haven't already i really do appreciate that like the video if you like it dislike it if you don't any comments drop in the box below as to what i can actually do differently or, or any suggestions as to bring this together and um yeah i shall see you in the next one so as always take care guys see you later